Radical. Welcome to this week's episode of the Print on Demand cast. Each week, join the gnarly Travis and Josiah as they provide insight into the print on demand industry and equip you with the totally tubular tools, advice, and strategies you need to achieve success and hopefully have a few laughs along the way. Now, on to this week's totally tubular show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Print On Demand cast in person, not at a restaurant, in fact, in my house. Impressive. Uh, it's a makeshift studio in my almost studio apartment. <laughs> uh, there's more than one, but it's not an open floor, see, that's technically, it's not studio, but we're not going to get into it. Uh, but we're here, it is uh, Saturday night, this is what we do with our Saturday nights, in case you guys are wondering, um, when we're not in Long Beach, <laughs> Apparently we just record. We do other things in Long Beach on Saturday nights. That's true. That's true. We and well, we had Jersey Mike's. Anyway, we so did. Uh, we are here. A brand new episode coming to you guys. Really excited. Uh, it's a nice, a little more comfortable setup. We got a couch and there's less noise and less ambience. There's right. more dogs. More dogs. Uh, there's, there's a dog. Yep. It's uh, Maisie here. One Shih Tzu, the other Shih Tzu's in the corner protesting because i'm in his favorite spot so he's <laughs> looking at me like you gotta move man but i'm not going to so but travis we're here uh it's the end of, typically we record at the beginning of a week we're recording at the very end of, of this given week we don't know when this episode will air right but um how was your week like in usually it's like how was your monday and your weekend but how was sure. your week yeah um it was fine um kind of a. Uh um, you know, getting ready to go out of town for uh, our 25th. Mm -hmm. That's kind of why we're recording this. We've got uh, a couple other recording uh, sessions that we're going to be doing yeah. um, over the next few days, just trying to kind of get ready because I'm leaving town. And then like in a few weeks after that, I'm leave leaving town. town. Yeah. So just for the business, you know, um, I'm uh, kind of, again, getting ready to go out of town. I've been focusing a lot on the, uh, the print on demand cast website um, yeah. and uh, making sure kind of links are good and trying to figure out some blog things. And, um, and then on the business side, you know, things have really slowed down. Although we did have a really cool conversation with um, somebody who wants to um, onboard uh, that seems to be, you know, doing some decent volume. So that'll oh, be, cool. that'll be nice. Um, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I think there's still some, uh, some things to be, Kind of ironed finalized, out. yeah, and sure. ironed out. But um, but that that's hopeful. Um, yeah, I think there's. I have a list of uh, my to do list now. Have two different kind of sections. There's the make your mark design to do <laughs> yeah. list, and then and then there's the, the print on the demand, demand cast. cast. Yeah, to do list. So yeah, um, uh, I got some things accomplished, but it's still those to do lists there's, are pretty they long. They grow. Yeah, we're doing a couple new projects with. Um, some stuff on uh, in Maker Mark Design that I'm trying to create SOPs for and yeah. um, help people understand, help my VAs understand kind of what we're looking at doing. And um, I'm heading those up. Tate's doing some other stuff. And it's, it's a, we're taking advantage of the slow season, but, and we're sure. staying busy sure. as a result of it. Sure. What about That's you? Good. Uh, week was good, just worked. Yeah, I can't really think of much of what, anything eventful. But uh, just just another week, uh, you know, yeah. trying to save the world one one car insurance policy at a time, uh, and uh, <laughs> so but that, that's pretty much been uh, my week and weekend's been also equally as as chill, which is nice. Um, you're getting ready, like you said, leave to Hawaii, but before you go, you'll be able to watch the Super Bowl. In fact, oh, the day before, yes, I will. Is this what number is this? It's like I, I don't read Roman numerals. 54, 55? 54, sure. Okay, 55. I was thinking um, today, uh, I saw something. 72? That's all the same. Why put a number to it, honestly? Uh, I, I saw this thing on Facebook that was detailing how Prince's halftime show was one of the greater halftime shows that there was, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, man, I, we always talk about bonus episodes. In fact, I texted you and said, hey, we should do a bonus episode tonight right. and do a watch along to the worst movie I've ever seen in my life called Downsizing, which would only be worth it if we were able to make fun of it and record it for posterity's sake for the <laughs> audience. But talking about like breaking down Super Bowl halftime shows, but then I realized oh. like I don't remember. I, haven't, I don't watch every halftime show, but we could. I mean, it could have been fun. I don't know. 
Um, but Prince's was one of the one of the great good ones. And uh, hmm. this year, I think it's Rihanna. I don't know. Not that that matters. Yeah. But looking forward to that as well. And looking forward to getting into our topic for today. Again, we don't know when this is airing, but we're probably anticipating that it's going to be in breaking up some of the interviews with folks that we got from from ISS. Yeah. Uh, which to to that point, uh, for you listen for those of you listening. If you guys would prefer more interviews, let us know. If you like hmm. this format, let us know. Because uh, we obviously want to tailor the content to what you guys want to hear. And so if a more more interview style is something that you guys enjoy, let us know. Comment. You can go to the Facebook group, uh, printondemandguest.com slash Facebook, and let us know if that's something you would like to do. So, But today, we've got a good point of interest, a good main event, and I'm excited to get into it. So yeah. uh, let's get into this week's... Point of interest. I don't know why I just had to bring that. I know you did. I can't hear it. Here I don't know what's going to happen. Here it comes, so do it. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a point of interest. <laughs> That's probably way off. I can't hear anything. Usually no. we wear headphones we have, and I yeah. can kind of but up, something like that. I don't know. That's probably terrible. But, Travis, <laughs> what do we have this week for the point of interest? Well, um, we were kind of just trying to, you know, every week it's kind of like this when we have a point of interest. It's like, what is actually interesting in the print on demand world? And <laughs> so, it's not self serving because so, yeah. we think. Everything we're doing here is interesting, but we don't want to bombard you guys with that. Right, exactly. And so sometimes it's easier than others. Sometimes there is actually something come coming down the pike, you know, from uh, postage increase or about color reel. Yeah, that whole thing. That's well, no, we actually talked about our new print on demand cast dot com website. Yeah, yeah, but in the main event, you should all go and subscribe. That's true. That's true. Go check it Um, out. Go check it out. Uh, but we talked about in the main event right. about Color Real, right. which would have been a great, great point of interest, exactly. but we, we cannibalized it. <laughs> <laughs> we so we, could, we it. couldn't hit it again. We couldn't hit it again. <laughs> so this week we just we we just found a couple of um, cool new products or newer yeah. products yeah. on Printify. And uh, so, yeah, I think... We're just going to go with that. Yeah, so let's talk about it. A couple of uh, cool things. You may have already seen. If you're selling on Printify, you may have already seen you know this stuff. This is kind of old yeah. old hat. But yeah. um, the first one we found, dog hoodies, which I feel like you could be in the market for that. I could. My dog's barking at me right now because she wants on the couch. <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> she wants to be in the show. Uh, she, we're talking about dog hoodies. But, yeah, I could be in the market for it. In mm-hmm. fact, I was always adamant that I would never be that person. <laughs> that bought articles of clothing for my dogs and then madeline came home with a sweater for ollie yeah i can see that i mean he looked dapper i gotta say he looked real (laughs) handsome in that thing so now it's like they each have a winter like a christmas sweater that they wear around the holidays and stuff like that um i haven't really come around to shoes yet (laughs) my sister buys shoes for her dog please don't but and i think i think what you're you're revealing here is just and i think we all know this like pets are they have just exploded in how much money people spend on pets oh for sure i mean there's really no regard you know we talk about you know some of the markets that people don't really think about prices obviously weddings people don't Mm -hmm. think about how much they're going to spend graduation you know that party those kind of parties it's such a milestone event but pets i think would probably be in that same kind of like category of like yeah. reckless spending <laughs> habits because because a dog doesn't need a hoodie is no, what you're a saying. dog doesn't they've got hair they've got fur you know what i mean but right. um so yeah so i mean they they're offering this which is to, to that point probably why printify is like we need to roll out some pet stuff yeah because it's huge so they're, yeah. they're 100 percent polyester mm-hmm. available in five different sizes probably from shih tzu to, to like doberman or great dane <laughs> or something i'd imagine um and then black and white rib color options sub or dtg because they're doing a black so they can't right. obviously be sub. Yeah, i think they and they're they they say that they're 100 percent polyester but i don't know if that's like the white one's 100 percent polyester and the black one's 100 percent cotton and they're DTGing and it's ribbed the black one and then the white one they're subbing and if it's ribbed yeah you're gonna that's have, hard i don't know i don't know they're wizards they must Over there, be five because I, I don't I mean, yeah. but yeah, so you can get them uh, from anywhere from like $19, 40 cents, somewhere in that in yep. that area. And, and again, if you're using them to fulfill for you, you can probably charge more than that for a hoodie, for a dog. Well, you probably would charge more for that. <laughs> 1941. If you have an actual business. 
<laughs> and have <laughs> desires to keep that business open. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my point was at that price point, don't be like, well, I can't make any money. I mean, no, you could probably charge 30, 40 bucks for sure. a, co- a dog course. hoodie and, uh, and still be plenty fine. Don't do the 1941 yeah. idea. That was terrible. Yeah. And you can head over to Printify um, and look in their new arrival section. And some, I mean, to be fair, the pictures are adorable. Yeah. Because it's a dog. It's a dog. Yeah. And that's what sells. And so, <laughs> just, okay, what is this date right now? Mark your calendars. Whenever you're listening to this, a place that's going to have dog mock ups, I'm sure, if they don't already, <laughs> they're going to have to have dog mark, mock ups. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, to that point, dog hoodies, even like the bandanas that people will give their dogs and yep. put around their neck, mm-hmm. another good idea. Um, so, yeah, that's just one of them. The second one, skinny steel tumbler with straw. Yeah. Skinny tumbler. Skinny tumbler. They're Ooh. all the rage right now. I I mean, okay, so I think I think I saw my wife had one. My my wife has this I thing. I imagine that she would have one. <laughs> my wife has this thing that she has her water bottle for like general use and a water bottle that can fit in her purse when she has to go into places that maybe don't allow water bottles. And so she uses that water bottle wow. into movie theaters. When she doesn't want to be carrying a big water bottle. And putting, when she wants to put vodka in the water <laughs> bottle. I get it. I get it. No, that's what we would do <laughs> with a skinny tumbler. But she legit just uses water. I saw it today. In fact, I think it's sitting right on that shelf. You see that by the door? Yeah. She, yeah. There's two of the, them. There's, yeah. yeah, there's the one to the left is her skinny. And I looked at this oh, and I said, so impractical. Like, I would drink this so fast. Like, <laughs> just water. I drink quickly. We, I mean, backstory, I, I drink quickly. She does. And he so, does. And uh, so I, I just understand. But I guess they're all the rage, and I didn't know that until yeah. you brought it up. We actually sell these at Make Your Mark Design. Okay. Um, and uh, you can fully sublimate them because they are, um, they're 100%, or well, they're, they're polyester coated. And so um, you can sublimate them, and that's how you decorate them. And they look great. You can do a full wrap all the way around. Yeah. It's really cool. You can do a full wrap actually in a uh, clamshell press you just have to spin it halfway through or turn it a little bit so you open it halfway through and you turn it shut it again um yeah it's it's pretty cool so they start from uh from around 16 90 so 17 bucks yeah um that's re- real close to uh, right around the same price we charge sure. at make our design uh, so what so he's saying is just reach just, out to them yeah just you, know, you can talk us. to travis okay <laughs> like in like actually have a conversation yeah. and then sell the tumbler for roughly the same price yeah they're very popular right now and um i'm sure a lot of our listeners are probably already selling them so yeah this is not news to them i no, guess is what i'm saying probably not but it's still interesting yeah yeah and so the third one that they're also rolling out the new item pajama pants and listen every christmas mm-hmm. every christmas i've seen the pictures my mother-in-law gets us matching pajamas my sister gets mm-hmm. everybody matching pajamas so pajama pants if anything else a q4 honey hole of <laughs> just make you know coming out with all matching sets of, of pajama pants or matching it maybe maybe matching it with a shirt or something i don't really know mm. you know the how how custom you can go with these types of things they also have long sleeve all over that's prints. right that's so right. it's the same thing this these these pajama pants are all over printed yep um so they are again 100 percent polyester so i you know, pajama pants that are 100% polyester, mm, I don't know about the comfort level. I prefer cotton yeah. pajama pants. Yeah. Um, but, you know, still, if if you can, like, put your face on these pajama pants, <laughs> you know, that all kind over. of... Yeah, all over the pajama pants. I mean, that kind of makes up for the not being cotton thing. Um, but <laughs> they do have them for, <laughs> for <Does> youth, it- <laughs> women, and men. Um and so the kids start at like 23, 13, uh, women's and men's sizes start at 27, 61. So you're going to have to charge, you know, 40, 50 bucks. Yeah. However, these are custom. You, you can do custom with these things. And so yeah. people will pay, I would imagine they'd pay 60, 70 bucks, oh, yeah. you know, to customize, um, these pajama pants. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So there you go. Those are the three items that are running out or rolling out and printify that are new. And uh, take advantage of, of them if you have them filling for you, or take a look right. at them and see, uh, you know, if that's something you want to add to your collection. 
So, um, and that'll do it for this week's uh, point of interest. All right, so we're going to move right into the main event. So here we go, Josiah, and go. I can't hear the music, main event. <laughs> there it was. There it is, boom. Nice transition. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so this week's main event, we've been talking about, you know, and we've talked about this before, I think, um, kind of touched on some things about listings in general, but today we want to talk about tips for creating Great listings on Etsy, Amazon, and Shopify. Because those, yep. I mean, I feel like that would probably cover a good range of people. It seems right. like based on the numbers that we see from any time we put the word Etsy in a title for our show. Yeah. It's big. Those numbers are much larger. Yeah. So so that just tells us that you listening uh, are probably selling on Etsy. You want to know more about Etsy because mm-hmm. it kind of seems like, uh, and we've talked about this, it's an easier barrier of entry into yeah. opening a store and having print, a print on demand a brand or, or shop so right um so yeah so the first one travis we're talk about seo which simply stands for search engine optimization yeah but beyond what it, those letters stand for what is seo well i mean i, I think most of our listeners will probably know what what seo is um it's basically the way that uh, algorithms be it google or Amazon has an algorithm. Etsy yep. has an algorithm. Yep. Um, but so wh- whatever search uh, kind of platform you're on, because Etsy is a search engine yep. for their products. Amazon is a search engine for their products. Google is a, is a search engine for web pages. Um, it, SEO is going to be what that algorithm is using or, or ranking your website or product based off of. And yep. the better your optimization, your search engine optimization, the higher up you theoretically will go in those, those search rankings. So, um, what we're going to touch on, uh, today in SEO, and then we're going to touch on one other thing that like will help you with your, uh, your, your listings. But I think, honestly, I think SEO, um, is probably one of the most important, if not the most important parts of your listing because like you said they're all algorithms Mm -hmm. they're all search you know search algorithms and so what are you telling that search algorithm about your product or your page or your shopify store or whatever so so yeah so that's kind of what it is um so the next question is uh where where do you use seo where do you use it yeah so uh, obviously one of the first things is titles and this is something too that we we think about when we even title episodes of this show right uh because just like amazon and etsy and shopify uh spotify youtube apple Podcasts, all of those have their own algorithms right. all of those which is why they're we always yeah, yeah they're all search engines which is why we always ask you guys and encourage you guys to leave reviews and 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 to comment you know on, on what's going on because that helps one thing that helps boost the algorithms outside yeah. of seo but titles is definitely one of the things that uh you can use those kind of keywords uh in your titles to help the search engines rank that product and tell people Oh, you're looking for a coffee mug about uh, being a nurse or being a baseball player or whatever. Yeah. Look at this one. And it's all based on part partially what you put in your titles. Yeah. It's the difference between what they're searching for and what's in your titles. But titles really on all of these platforms, they're probably the main thing. Yeah. Um, so if you, the whole idea is to kind of backwards or, or go backwards with this thing. Like reverse start, engineer yeah, kind reverse of thing. Reverse engineer yeah. it. So the thing that you're starting with when you're creating a listing and when you're thinking about SEO is what will the person that finds this actually search for? So in the future, what are they going to search for? What are their, what are their keywords? And those are what you want to include in your title. Um, and, and we'll get to some of the tools and how you can do some of this stuff. But, um, but the idea is to reverse engineer, to find what those guys are going to be searching for when they find it. So you, Title is probably the most important thing, but then you also have like bullets, you yeah. have descriptions. Yep. Um, depending on the platform, those things could be ranked differently as far as like what the algorithm favors or you know right. how much more important it is. Usually, you have more um, you have more 
characters with the description and so you can use more keywords kind of stuff a little bit more yeah. in, in that area yeah I, I mean we say stuff i want to just also point out that google is smart <laughs> specific and and so are all these algorithms so i would i would hesitate to keyword stuff in other words if you are doing something for uh you know you want nurse mug yeah you're trying to get to that don't put nurse mug 17 times on your freaking <laughs> listing um yeah that's not going to help you you need to figure out what other things that are going to uh benefit a benefit your customer so what are some other things about this mug that actually will help them uh make a good decision yeah so and then also there's other keywords nurse mug would be a really hard keyword to rank for sure you know um but there's probably another 25 to 50 keywords that you could potentially go for yeah. on a nurse mug that you want to include into that description. So don't, don't keyword stuff right. as it were. Yeah. Um, a couple other things for Shopify. There's a couple other things that you can do specifically for Shopify. Um, if you, you're, if you're doing collections, if you're using collections, um, that collection should have a description and, and that can be keyword optimized yeah. again. Um, because those, collections actually will rank in Google. Uh, Shopify is a little bit different than, you know, Amazon Etsy, uh, simply because you're trying to rank in Google for these things. Yeah. Um, so, so that's, that's one of the things. And then image alt tags. So these are the, when you upload an image to a, like a WordPress site, um, there's a section for an alt sure. tag. And basically it's describing what that image is. And usually people put keywords in there um, because believe it or not, you can rank in the image search for some of your top keywords and get traffic through the Google image section yeah. of their search. Um, so don't sleep on, don't sleep on your alt tags. And then yeah. the, the last thing is, is backlinks, backlinks, right? Which, which <laughs> in all transparency, Travis told me what actual backlinks are. <laughs> Today, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna throw you under the bus. It's okay. Man. I'll throw myself under the bus. <laughs> okay. I live under the bus sometimes. <laughs> well, we're all married. I mean, two of us. Uh, anyway, no. So, <laughs> not together. Not no. Not together. We're road wives, but that's just that's a gimmick. That's a moniker, really. It really is on the words. Um. So yeah, backlinks are you know stuff on other websites that right. can bring traffic to your site on Shopify. Yeah, those backlinks are telling Google what your site is about or yeah. what your page is about. So if you're selling a nurse mug and somebody else out there on you know has a has a a, a, a Google website or a website that maybe hopefully has some authority in Google um, because authority is another thing that basically mm -hmm. If you're a brand new website, you don't have any authority. Right. Um, but if you've, you know, you're established, you have been around, uh, Google puts a kind of a number on you or whatever. And so the more authority you have, the more power those backlinks have. But if somebody with, you know, some decent authority links to your page and they, the hyperlink is actually says in the text nurse mug, well, that's going to boost your, um, your rank or your search rank right. potential for the words nurse mug. So again, backlinks are very important. Uh, you, they actually can be somewhat important for Amazon and Etsy as well. Sure. Because you do have, I mean, there is a URL that is searchable on, on Google for your product page, as long as it's indexed. Yeah. But someone could also link to your Etsy and link to your Amazon, which may, I, I don't know if Amazon or Etsy actually gives you kind of a boost in their algorithms based on link juice, but I know Google does. Yeah. So someone could be searching for nurse mug, find your website on Etsy or find your listing on Etsy because you ranked high enough because somebody gave you a backlink. For sure. It. So it's, it's especially important for Shopify because you're always trying to get organic, um, aside from because you're yeah, either that or you're going to have to advertise. Yeah. 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 Cause there's no, as we've said before, the the trade-off with you know well having your own in third party site your own independent site with something like a shopify mm -hmm. is that you're sacrificing that organic traffic right. that amazon brings to you because well, again amazon it's your search engines mm -hmm. and so people won't search for stuff they're going to see your show or see your 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 show your show <laughs> oh my goodness it's really distracting having two shit yeah. here 
uh, <laughs> trying to be like, hey, I've noticed that. be quiet, dude, and stop barking at me. You can't come up here. And then she just lives by her own set of rules. <laughs> So, um, and sometimes they don't like each other and they'll just attack one another. So like when they get close, I can always have to like sense the vibe because mm. if she goes nuclear, then I, the I have to break it up <laughs> and I'll probably come away with a flesh wound. Um, <laughs> but so the, the trade off is they that don't give no yeah, shits. they don't get it. Yeah, I do. Mm. Yeah. I went to a zoo yeah. one time. Yeah. Uh, obviously the Denver zoo, you know, it's yeah. really world Denver right great. over there. Uh, but I went to a zoo uh, not too long ago. I hadn't been in a while. I had some family in town. They're like, hey, we're going to go to the zoo. I said, okay, cool. So they took me to the zoo, and there was only one animal at the entire zoo. What? It was one dog. That's it. It was a shit zoo. <laughs> that's a give me. I mean, that's that a free one. That wasn't that's even not, the it, weekly no, dad joke. it's not. That one's still coming. I just couldn't pass that one yeah, up. That was a that was a, it was a great setup. It's lob. So anyway, the trade off in having a Shopify site is that you don't get organic traffic. Right. And so anything you can do to help rank your site or rank your listings higher is going to be beneficial to you, including mm-hmm. backlinks, unless you do want to spend money on advertising. I think we've told the story a handful of times, but uh, my father in law at one point was like, "Hey, we should start a novelty shirt site," and I was like cool but why and how in the world yeah. are we going to get traffic to this thing because we're a drop in a very not even a bucket yeah. a vat of novelty <laughs> shirt sites you know what i mean yeah like how do we separate it and so um that's just that's one way you got you got to really think about that when you're wanting to yeah. launch a shopify site yeah i would have strongly recommended against it had he asked my opinion mm-hmm. i did however see the final product and it was a great looking site oh yeah it was great it was yeah. and you had hundreds of products on there oh yeah it was tons we had and so many assets it was called t scream yeah it was oh, a great yeah. name yeah yeah but you had just, zero traffic yeah zero i mean we honestly didn't even launch it i had some ideas to what we've talked about, I think mm-hmm. after having the dad joke shirts and talking about doing some like guerrilla marketing for lack of a better yeah. term, but literally going with T Scream, going out and getting interviewing people, mm-hmm. you know, about you know, novelty t shirts or tell us a dad or a joke or asking mm-hmm. questions like common knowledge questions because I don't know if you've seen those on TikTok or Instagram, but it's like, hey, who who said blah, 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 and they'll guess something yeah. completely wrong, and it's really yeah, funny. How many states are in America? Yeah, like, oh, 54. 37? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, just, and just doing an Instagram page with that kind of content that's funny on the ground, mm-hmm. and then we give them a shirt for participating or whatever. Right. That was my idea to try and generate some kind of traffic, which social Still, media, I mean, that's would, a way to drive traffic, but you got to... Would have taken forever. Building an audience is... Yeah difficult <laughs> right i right. mean learned that uh multiple times including with this show we, you know i've both yeah had conversations about like okay we how do we build an audience okay how do we have an audience how do we make it bigger mm-hmm. how do we you know and, and implementing those things so uh so the the question now is if you're listening seo what we've answered what is it but how do you do it right right and what's the main keyword someone would type to get your product so i mean <laughs> <laughs> There's something happening over there. So oh. you, you need maybe I should. Oh boy! So they have a it's a puppy dog, pad. Puppy pad. Okay, that's what you call it. And hey, um, no. and they just your dog just used it. Yeah, he did. He just did what he needed to do. Yeah, he did, and he was doing it right there and uh, distracted. Yeah. Distracted you a lot. <laughs> it did. Because <laughs> I knew you were going to see it. <laughs> so, hey. We're it's live. the first time I've ever seen a dog poop. It's true. All, I mean, he looked you in your eyes is the thing. <laughs> Which means oh. it's, a, it's a sign of trust when dogs do that. Oh, you know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Dogs, it's you know, like they know that you'll keep them safe in their most vulnerable state. <laughs> oh, good. I feel, so, I feel yeah. accepted. Yeah. Yeah. The Shih Tzu looked you in the eyes while he shits. <laughs> Zoot. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, there's three couple cool paid options, right? All right. The first one being keywords everywhere. Keywords so, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I, I, I looked at keywords everywhere probably two to five years ago. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, very cool, uh, very cool concept, but uh, check it out. I think it's, I want to say it's keywords everywhere dot something not com. I can't remember. 
You know what I mean? It's like one of those weird ones. But if you Google keywords everywhere, keywords everywhere not com, um, not com, <laughs> not com. Uh, the next one is SEM Rush. It's more of a um, kind of an established uh, service for somebody who's really. I mean, it's it's very very handy for like bloggers and people yeah. that are really really going after this SEO thing. Um, and then finally, Google Keyword Tool, which is free. You just have to sign up for it, and. Um, that can be that basically will get you what people are searching for around your sure. main topics. Yep. So for instance, we keep using nurse mug. So you could put nurse mug in there and then it would give you a crap ton of other potential things that are being advertised for yeah. on the web yeah. around that keyword. And then you can use some of those to put in your listings uh, and, and things like that. That's, that's kind of the free free thing um and then for etsy you've of yep. course heard of e-rank or etsy rank um and then are we, we gonna, are actually we? had uh what were you gonna say e-rank isn't that proprietary information <laughs> <laughs> you stop <laughs> you i'm stop. sorry i'm sorry. sorry um and then we've actually had neil lassen on the yeah, show yeah, yeah. and he has a program called sales samurai he has a few different uh things but sales samurai is specifically a keyword tool um, for Etsy and we'll link to that in the show notes. We actually do have an affiliate for that. So if you decide you want to try out sales samurai, please go through our link. Yeah. You'll support the show for sure. Um, but I mean, that's obviously specifically for Etsy, which is kind of cool cause it's pulling information from the channel that you're actually trying to rank from. It's yeah. not like G Google. So there's a difference between, uh, buyer intent keywords and just search intent keywords. So like if I'm like, what's the weather going to be like today? And I type that into Google, I'm not going to buy anything. And so any keywords, I'm going to buy the weather. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not looking to buy something, but if I type in funny nurse coffee mug, there's some buyer yeah. intent there because yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah. maybe for my aunt who's a nurse and her birthday's sure. coming up or something sure. like that. So, um, the Google keyword tool doesn't necessarily separate those two things out because it's just looking at Google as a whole. Mm -hmm. It's not looking at, you know, specific buyer intent, but if somebody searches specifically on Etsy, they're not looking for the weather. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're looking for something to buy. They have, so those, those keywords that the Etsy tools are giving you the sales samurais of the world are giving you our buyer, buyer intent, intent yeah. keywords, which are, those are the only ones we give a crap about in the print on demand world. Sure. You know, so, sure. you know, take that with a grain of salt. You can go free and go Google, you know, Google keyword tool and get a lot of cool keywords yeah. and you can, you know, just think through it sure. and sort out what's a buyer intent keyword <clears throat> yeah. versus not, or you can buy a platform specific tool or, you know, subscribe to it or whatever that can help you with those specific channels that you're actually selling on. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, if you want to know more about E-Rank as well, uh, my wife was on the show uh, a couple years ago or a year or so ago. Yeah. And she kind of talked about her strategy with E-Rank. And what that does is it, it does kind of the same thing, kind of lets mm -hmm. you know who's searching for what keywords and where there's competition and where there's not competition. Right. And what you do with that information, you know, whether you, whether you want to lean into uh, something that someone's searching a lot that there's competition for, you can. Or mm -hmm. if you want to do the people are searching for this, but there's no competition. So I'm going to create something, yeah. which I've referenced before, you know, the whole, uh, the snail, snail with a stack of pancakes as the shell or it's whatever. Like, what yeah. the crap is she that? She sold a bunch of those and based off of that data. And so, uh, and it's not proprietary. I was just joking. I didn't mean to be a wolf. I was joking. So we can move on from that. Um, so yeah, so that, that's another cool sales tool that you can also look at for, uh, uh, e keywords. So, and yeah. I, I don't know. I don't remember the episode that she was on, uh, but we can we can uh, link it or let you guys know in the in the Facebook group as well. Yeah. So the next thing about listings that is a make or break thing is mockups. Right. And like I'm not exaggerating when I tell you it will make or break a listing. I, I don't 100%. know how many times you know I, from my own personal experience and think about as you're listening, think back to times that you've seen something that might be a cool design or you're interested in it but the mock-up does not it just looks it sketchy. doesn't translate it doesn't, it doesn't sketchy it's not yeah. great it's boring it's not engaging there's nothing that makes you compelled to click on it further 
Because if you have a bad mock-up, they'll just scroll right past you. Right. So, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So, uh, there's different platforms, and there's different rules on each platform. Right. Amazon yeah. is only a wide background on the main image. Yeah. Right? So, you have to have, and it has to be like a certain proportion of it is white. Right. And proportion, there's lots of rules. Um, but it's not really that hard to figure out. If you just put a put the mock up on a white background, you're you're pretty safe. But yeah. don't stop there, and don't think right. that you can only do white backgrounds. Like yeah. when people click in, let the, the, give them a plethora of images with right. lots of lifestyle, lots of engaging content. Once they're in your listing, yeah. One of the things we do is um, as we're creating mock ups, we uh, will create a lot of lifestyle images. You know, we ca- they're called lifestyle images. It's yeah. basically. If this beer can was a coffee mug, it would have my design on it, and you'd see my smiling face enjoying my <laughs> coffee mug. Uh, that's called a lifestyle photo. It's, yeah. it's your product in a lifestyle environment. Yeah. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll create these lifestyle photos, but then we'll also create that straight up just the thing on a white background, um, and we'll put that... Um, in our as a number one in our Amazon listing, but yeah. then on the Etsy listing, we'll use one of the other ones as the main image, and we'll we'll still use that white one. We'll just put it way at the end or something because you yeah. have a lot of images you can use on Etsy. Yeah. Um. So so you can utilize both of those, but um. The the thing that you are trying to accomplish is to create emotion with these photos. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like communicating just like subliminally. <laughs> Right. Like, oh, wow, well, that person's enjoying And you don't even think about it consciously, but right. because there's a picture of Travis with the coffee mug, smiling, enjoying his coffee, it's the subliminal messaging of like, oh, okay, there's positive emotions associated mm-hmm. with that mug. People are enjoying it. I would enjoy it. And so you're trying to get, like Travis said, an emotional response right. through these mock-up images, which you might not think about. When you're first starting, mm-hmm. mock-ups are kind of like, okay, well, I obviously I have to have a mock-up and I, I want to show it up the there. I have to show the t-shirt on there. Obviously, I have to show it. But, but approach it. If that has been your school of thought up until this point, I would encourage you to kind of think of it differently um, and, and know that you're trying to capitalize and elicit an emotional response that makes them want to click into your listing and then furthermore, actually purchase the product that you have on the mock-up. Yeah. So... I can't say enough about how important they are. And I think we've kind of yeah. maybe <laughs> belabored a little belabored, bit. <laughs> yeah, beaten that horse to death. Um, Guys, mock-ups or, are super important. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we didn't like beat the horse to death. Maybe no. we beat it after it was already dead. Maybe. We beat the dead This is horse. weird. If someone clipped just this. Yeah, that would be oh, canceled. Man. Yeah. For context, what's, we're not talking about it? an actual What horse. is it? PETA or? Yeah, PETA. Yeah, like, they would just come after us. <laughs> No. The angry and, white women. And not, <laughs> not, 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 that's so terrible. <laughs> Nor the uh, fairy tale guy in green that can fly. Or the guy from Hunger Games. Yeah, okay. So right, there we so go. Full circle. Um, I don't know how, but we're here. <laughs> wow. We, <laughs> these shows are totally different when it's live. It really is. They weird. really are. So the next point we're going to uh, talk about is where can we make these amazing mock-ups yes. that we are absolutely, completely have decided are so important to our <laughs> listings. Yes. And no horses were injured in the conversation about them either. <laughs> uh, so uh, how can you do this? Well, obviously you can make your own, right? Right. Um, if you have, uh, you know, um, a camera, if you have some friends that are willing to model these things, mm-hmm. if you're willing to... We have that little light box that we've done yeah, some of this in. is come in handy mm-hmm. multiple times, at right. least for stuff that, you know, I'm like, well, I really need a nice mock-up shot. Oh, you need a light box. So yeah. you can have those kinds of tools at your disposal. If you want, you know, like I said, you have some friend that will is willing to use the product or hold the mug or wear the T-shirt and actually, you know, get it out mm-hmm. and use that, then awesome. That's one way you can definitely do it. Yep. Um, and you can add image layers. They don't even have to actually be wearing the product. Right, yeah. They could be wearing a blank T-shirt. And you could use you know, that same. If you want to maximize your time with your friend or who's willing to model for you, have them wear a blank shirt or hold a blank yeah. mug in, in different scenarios. Mm-hmm. And then you can just add image layers in Photoshop or PhotoP or whatever you want to use yeah. uh, to create those mock-ups. And you just have that those you know group of, of images that you've taken yourself that you can use mm-hmm. 
over and over and over and over again. Yeah, and obviously your Photoshop expertise is going to come into play. You know, there's yeah. smart layers. So obviously on a, on a, and we've talked about this before, but like on a mug, that image has to be kind of bent to where it looks natural on a curved surface. Right. If you just, uh, for instance, Deco Network, which is one of the tools that yeah. we use in our shop, um, they will not allow for that. And it's, it it's looks crazy. so dumb. Yeah. You know, you have a, a coffee mug and then you have this flat, flat thing. Image. It doesn't look real. It looks fake. And so for these particular, particularly with lifestyle shots and like you saying with a model that's wearing the shirt or holding the coffee mug, if it's a curved thing, you want to work with some of those, uh, some of those smart objects. Yeah. And if it, if it's a shirt and it has wrinkles, it's the same type of thing. It's just going to look weird. If there's a wrinkle right where the image is, it, it doesn't look correct. Yeah. But if you can, tweak some of those things um you know if you have the skills in photoshop it's a great option and you can go to several different places to even download editable yeah, already yeah, yeah. kind of made for you yep kind of kind of takes the 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 guesswork i guess or just yeah. kind of like it takes the necessary Photoshop skills that you have to have and, and limits them by doing some of the work for you. Yeah, you still have to have the Photoshop skills, sure. but not near as many as creating the actual layers right. that have the, the correct shading and all of that yeah. stuff. But you can, um, we had, uh, what was his name? That's um, a great question. I'm going to search it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, so bad. I'll, you know what? While you're searching that, I'm going to go on to point two. Creative Market. Yeah. <laughs> creative Market is a place you can go. It's, uh, I think it's just creativemarket.com. They have all kinds of mock-ups. You just search mock-ups and they'll have PSG. Oh, it's Jiro. It's Jiro. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Jiro, Jiro from Vexels. From Vexels is the other place you can, um, if you are a customer with them, uh, which again, we've had them on the show. We have an affiliate link. If you want yeah, to yeah, yeah. check that out, you can download their editable PSDs. Um, and then you just open them up in Photoshop and start editing them. Same thing yeah. with Creative Market. You can also buy editable Photoshop files for all kinds of different products on Etsy. Yeah. There's, there's a huge market for that. So there's a lot of these places that you can go. If you have Photoshop, if you have some skills and you want to take the time to do it that way, um, there's definitely some, a lot of options yeah, for, sure. for you. Yeah. And if you don't happen, if you're listening, you're like, man, I don't even know I'm, what is Photoshop or I don't have any <laughs> expertise in Photoshop. There is a really, really great solution right. that uh, I cannot recommend enough. In fact, I, I used it this last week in a completely different context from shirts mm. because they have so many cool like mock-ups, digital mock-ups yeah. for all, like, kinds, of all kinds of stuff. And that's placeit.net. Mm -hmm. um, you can do videos, um, you know, that with people wearing your mock-ups. They have, you know, great lifestyle shots. They've got great transparent background mm -hmm. shots where you can even throw that white background on it. Uh, for an Amazon, you know, mock-up, um, they've got stuff that you can use. Uh, like I was saying, for you know, a laptop and an iPhone mock-up. I used it the, for for the church that I attend. I did a, a, th a graphic about the the sermon being released on the podcast mm, yeah. and on YouTube and, and plug those images in and it did all the work for me. It's got graphics. It's got intro video. I mean, there's so much that it can do yeah. above and beyond mock-ups. Um, but mock-ups is, I mean, if you're looking for a solution where it's literally drag and drop, yeah. place it.net is 100% my, my number one recommendation yeah. um, for, for that kind of interface. Particularly for a lot of kind of the usual suspects when it comes to print on demand. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie and say that they have every product that printify offers, you know, sure. or print full or even make your mark design. Yeah. Um, they don't, but they have an exhaustive catalog of kind of the usual suspects, yes. thousands upon thousands. Yes. So if you're selling t-shirts, thousands, if you're selling mugs, thousands yeah. and then there's a whole lot of other kind of variations on those there's hoodies there's you know latte mugs and, and hats yeah they have hats they have just so many different things yeah um and and they have so many of those so many different things <laughs> if that makes sense yeah, you yeah. Know? way more than um and it's and and it's a subscription so yeah you just pay once a month for I mean, it you can you can pay per 
image. It's like yeah, I guess you, it why would you image. ever do that though? But you, so if you're like, I just want one or two onesie, two zero, you want to try it out, I guess. But I think mm-hmm. it's like eighty. It's like seven fifty a month if you do the yearly subscription. Right. If it's monthly, it's about fourteen and a half, yeah. something like that in that area. But I mean, it, it'll it'll pay for itself, especially if you don't want to go through the hassle of learning how the hell Photoshop works right, or right. getting into the Adobe photo world or what have you. Yeah. Um, it's a great place uh, to start as well. Yeah. Uh, I use it a lot. I yes. use it often. Um, our team uses it. Um, we also have one last uh, solution for mockups that um, wasn't on our script, but I just am remembering yeah. it because we use it a lot. Um, it's called Bulk Mockup. And bulk yes. mockup is actually a script for Photoshop. So you actually use it in Photoshop and you can, it, it basically grabs from a folder um, the different pieces that it needs and then it puts them together based on uh, smart objects again. Yeah. So, I mean, there is some some technical know-how how to sure. use that, but I, I, I want to say it's like, it's like fifty dollars one time fee, so it's it's a pretty cool thing, and you can do like, um, you know, I think I think the max is like two hundred or so at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but once, I mean, it just puts the same image or, or puts the uh, you know all of your different art links or all of your different art files on the same image. Um, you know, over and over and over again, yeah. Yeah. and then you have a folder with two hundred and fifty, you know different products really yeah so it's a it's a cool tool too but yeah so those are i think to kind of wrap it up now there's there's other things that are important to a listing but i think seo like the keywords that you are trying to rank for and whatever whatever algorithm you're trying to rank in and the mock-ups yeah. that you are presenting when people actually finally land yeah. on that yeah, yeah, yeah. site. The, the SEO the is like ones. the net that you cast to bring them into your store. And then the mock-up is the thing that convinces them to actually walk in. Yeah. Right. Into your listing or into your brand or into whatever it is that, that you have going on. So those are probably the top. Like Travis said, there's probably a lot more to this list when it comes to like crucial things about a listing. Um, yeah. But this would definitely be one of the top, some of the top two um, that we can, we if can suggest, the, if not the top yeah. two, that you would want to really spend some time thinking about when you're creating your listings on any platform that you're on. Um, so, yeah. Any, I mean, anything else? I know you talked about wrapping it up a little bit. Do we have yeah. uh, anything, an affiliate link with Placeit? Is that yeah, we a do. thing? Okay. We have a, yeah, we have an affiliate link with Placeit. Um, that, uh, so yeah, if you want to check that out, that's, yeah. I mean, like I say, I've been using it f- since we started Print On yeah. Demand. Yeah. So it was actually its own, its own site. And then Envato yeah, purchased, purchased it. it, which yeah. Envato has uh, a whole suite of other tools. Yeah. Um, a lot, they have, a uh, Envato Elements, which is like all these stock photos that you can yep. use for free. If you yep. subscri- So we actually have that subscription yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a subscription. I think that one is a... It was a one-time buy for us, yeah. and um, we use it all the time. We yeah. download all kinds of stuff. So anyway, Envato, it's now part of the Envato family place. It So yes, we do have an affiliate link. It's also, um, if you go to printondemandcast.com slash resources, yeah. um, there's a whole bunch of links there. Um, and, you know, just being honest, uh, most of them are affiliate links, um, but it's things that we have used and think are really freaking cool. And we're right. going to continue to add to that. Sure. We're probably going to categorize it, say, yeah. you know, here's some, you know, listing tools, here's some mock-up tools, here's some this, here's some of that. Um, but yeah, we'll be adding to that. But yes. Yeah, there is. I've so, only answered you seven <laughs> times now. <laughs> so we do have the resources <laughs> link. And, and again, you know, um, you know, the tagline for this show is, for this podcast mm. is we help, we make shows that help you make sales. And, we want to give you the tools that we've used to make sales right. in our business and our personal history with print on demand. And so, you know, if you use those sales and you come across the affiliate link, it does two things. Obviously it gives you a new tool for your business, but also helps support the show, support, yeah. support the content, help us keep, uh, you know, this show going and, and generating the content. Cause we've, we've said it multiple times. This is a passion project for Travis and yeah. I. We're friends that enjoy talking about print on demand. 
uh, and, and have a passion for the industry. So uh, any support that you guys can give us is greatly, greatly appreciated and yeah. reinvested into the show uh, and equipment, microphones, or you yeah, know, I'm go, sure we'll, going we'll, to trade shows. I'm and, sure there's and, a photo somewhere on the interwebs by the time we actually release this that'll show kind of all the different things. We've got like two laptops, and <laughs> webcam, a yeah. ring light. Yeah, and, you know. it's, it's, uh, yeah it's, it's uh, a really <laughs> makeshift. I mean, it would be awesome one day to have an actual like, studio. Let's sit down and, oh and have a studio and, and just fire up, you know, fire up the power switches and we're ready to rock and roll and, you know, bring, bless you, bring in a producer. And uh, so... <laughs> Uh, all, and all of those things. And, you know, one of those things, again, we talked about last week is wanting to make more trade shows yeah. uh, to interact with you guys. And, and you know, we, tra- we we like to travel. It's a good time, right? So we went to Long Beach or, you know, went on a plane and everything like that. And, uh, and, and but here's the thing, Travis. You know, it's, it's a very polarizing time in our country. It, it has been. Okay. Yeah. It, just like every, everyone's opinion, it's all polarizing. So... You know, chivalry is—is is it dead? Is it not? Is it—is it good to be? You know, Are you have going on manners? a rant? No, just okay. Listen. So, the thing is, as I thought, we obviously went to Long Beach, right? Yep. Not on a plane, and we flew, and uh, you know all the travel and involved. I was trying to be polite. There's a woman mm-hmm. there uh, who had a lot of luggage, it seemed like, and uh, I—I I thought that it was polite. To open a door for a lady, right? I thought yeah. opening a door for a lady was good manners. Sure, sure, yeah. right? Yeah, I would think yeah. so. Yeah. Well, turns out she just screamed and flew out of the airplane. And that was this week's <laughs> dad joke. <laughs> Everyone was like, "Is he getting political?" <laughs> if you fast forwarded, just rewind. It was a joke. Good lord, people. Anyway, so yeah, oh, that's this week's weekly dad joke. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening and and uh, your patience in this particular episode <laughs> with the various distractions as we're trying to end the dogs and the things. Uh, but thank you guys so much for listening. We definitely appreciate your support in any way that you give it to us, whether it is using an affiliate link, whether it is grabbing a shirt over at printonamancast.com slash shop. Which Travis is sporting a, a test T-shirt, right? Yes. Yeah. Print on we, demand multiverse. We did a test buy which, and it worked. Yeah, it worked. So, so you'll the get print your on shirt. That's what we're saying. Because he's wearing his. Print on demand multiverse. Look at yes. that. Look at that. It's That's beautiful. what we dubbed you guys, the listener, that we uh, have stopped using. So we better start using it more if it's not a freaking shirt. Uh, so <laughs> thank you to all of the you in the print on demand multiverse uh, for listening. And like I said, in any way you support the show. It's very, very much appreciated. Uh, one way you can do that is subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to. Talk about algorithms. We would love to beat these algorithms uh, <laughs> on, on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or Anchor or Stitcher or Google or wherever you're listening. Uh, subscribe. Leave us a, a review about the show. Uh, it would definitely help it. And then also share to your social media. Share through text. Share on your Twitter or Facebook mm-hmm. or Instagram or whatever you guys want to do. And when you do that, tag us uh, because we are on Facebook and we are on Instagram. You can go to printondemandcast.com slash Facebook and printondemandcast.com slash Instagram to follow us on those feeds. If you want us, if you were following the show when we recorded this on Instagram, you would have seen, I posted the story already, what Travis just talked about (laughs) the, the smorgasbord of electric devices that are lying in front of us (laughs) at the current moment to make this happen for you guys. Uh, You would have seen that. Uh, lots of awesome content coming there. Again, when we travel to trade shows, that's probably going to be the platform that we do a lot of like in the moment stuff and a lot of lives mm-hmm. and, and stuff like that. So we're also on YouTube. YouTube, uh, you can go to printonamancast.com slash YouTube and uh, subscribe to us there as well. We are in the process of thinking about educational, informational, entertaining, and exclusive content that we can put on our YouTube page that would benefit you guys uh, above and beyond just these episodes. Yeah. Um, so that is also in the works as well. So, uh, and then uh, again, anything else that I'm missing? Oh, if you don't like social media, you can email us, info at printonamancast.com. Uh, it comes to us if you have any questions or if you have a topic you'd like to hear about or if you have a point of interest. I tell you what, if you have a point of interest that you think is interesting and you know about it, let us know. Yeah. We can probably bring you on the show to talk about it. Or a, or a guest or suggestion. Or a guest suggestion. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we love having guests because uh, it's not it's not that Travis don't and I don't enjoy this format because we clearly do. I don't know how long <laughs> we've been going, but it's obvious that we enjoy this format. Uh, but the thing about guests is is that 
it allows us to find experts in fields that we don't necessarily know right. a lot about yeah. and give you information from them to benefit your business. So the more guests we can find, the better. So if you have any of those suggestions, let us know as well. Travis, anything else before we, we completely wrap this thing up? No, I think you've, uh, yeah, head over to the print on demand and, uh, yeah. check it out. Check out the new site if you haven't already. Yeah. And, um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, subscribing we'll send you a weekly email telling you hey that's the, right the episode's out top of the page yeah do and, that and then at the bottom of the page there's gonna be a dad joke that's so. right in your weekly email there will be a dad joke for you so if you can't <laughs> get enough of them you got two in this episode if you'd like a third one in the week subscribe to the email list uh, we won't spam you we'll just bring you endless information and entertainment and joy uh <laughs> in your life we'll be enriching to you all so until next week again thank you guys so much for travis i'm josiah we'll see you right here next week same bat time same bat channel on the print on demand cast see ya hey babe thanks for listening to this week's episode of the print on demand cast we hope you enjoyed the totally tubular show if you got a question or a suggestion for the show send travis and josiah an email at info at print on demand want to be wicked nice Take a minute to rate and review the show on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe now so you don't miss next week's episode. See you next time for sure.